What is up guys? Welcome back to the Lumsden Motorsports Garage. I'm Wade Lumsden and today we are working on the modified. Um, it's been a couple weeks actually since we've raced. Um, it's been a week since the last video really. Um, today is actually Mother's Day so happy Mother's Day to um, all the mothers out there. Uh, even though this is this will be posted on Tuesday, which is so happy late Mother's Day, I guess. So, <laughs> um, anyways, got lots of stuff to do to this car. Um, we actually do have some time to do things to it. Uh, it's not due to race again until May 20, I believe it's 28th and 29th or 27th and 28th. It's Saturday, Sunday, whatever that is. Uh, so, uh, going to be hammering away at this we did a pretty good amount of damage to it um so i really don't want to rush and and just slap it together to go race somewhere else um which i could do i've been uh missing some local races that i could have gone to um but you know it is what it is uh and we got some parts to replace so i know we're going to be waiting on those to show up hopefully uh we'll be able to get those uh, it's like a a uh, good example, the radiator. Um, that bad boy's got some major dings in it <laughs> from when everything broke apart. Um, but, yeah, got lots to do. Um, and actually a little bit of time to do it. So uh, let's get to work. Alrighty, so first things first, uh, I'll give you an update on my brother's car. He's been um, doing little things here and there, trying to get things dialed in, uh, trying to get proper parts and, and things like that for his hobby stock. But uh, one of the other big issues was we needed to find him a carburetor. Um, I did manage to find a carburetor, uh, but this thing is hammered, man. Super hammered, look at that. That's super delicious, isn't it? Um, <laughs> so, uh, plus the accelerator pump and stuff is missing off of it. But hey, we found a 4412. So uh, that'll probably be going to uh, Bob Oliver over at Competition Carburation um, here in uh, Reno, Nevada. So if you guys need carb work done, seriously, I mean, he, he, does, he has customers all over the country um, and he does fantastic work. So, um, and he is in no way shape or form <clears throat> sponsoring this video or anything i just think he does fantastic work so anyways uh so that's what's going on with my brother's car um he's uh he's out in fallon so hopefully uh he's he's getting more more and more done on it and we'll be uh ready for the next race as for us man um this side seems to be okay uh, <laughs> uh definitely have our work cut out for us we're gonna take um uh, the front apart and do some do some nose work um uh, i think i pointed this out last video but i'm pretty sure i forgot to tighten this um which is what led to us bottoming it out um a bunch of times so uh, i need to address this whole uh, right front and also the steering components uh, we used a couple new parts a couple used parts uh, and and slap this thing together uh, so I could go out and go out and race and it was doing pretty good until I think I think this was the culprit um, if you go back and watch that that racing video when I was like yeah just all of a sudden uh, it started bottoming out super hard and it felt like somebody threw an anchor out behind me well probably that that shifted everything up uh which allowed everything to drop um at least that's my guess that's my assumption um and then we're gonna have to go through this chassis pretty good because we are cracking out um 
here we've got cracks down there i've shown you guys this stuff in other videos but um back there right there you can see that pipe is actually broken away um, right there which is you know basically what what it's supposed to be doing but um yeah we hammered this thing uh pretty bad um but for right now what i'm gonna do is um start really getting a good look at it um gotta get the radiator out uh, i gotta get it measured so i can order another one and then uh, really got to look at more than just these bars. Uh, I'm going to pull everything off and out of the way. Um, but I really want to start looking at more than just those bars to see if there's any other damage. Because uh, right, if you're, if you're smacking this thing right here into the ground, there's possibility of damaging uh, forces getting shoved into these bars. Um, causing crack out and stuff back here uh, you know up near your motor mounts so plus I hit the wall right like <laughs> I, I, I smacked the wall and I actually I smacked it pretty good um, so really want to get a chance to look at that stuff plus uh, it's about time that uh, suspension components start coming off and getting serviced you know you uh, I have the OD cups and I got the thrust bearings on the inside. It's time to get those out and get those cleaned up. I got camber caster to worry about um, over here. So I, I need to reset my camber and caster uh, and all of that happy stuff. Plus, uh, we're going to do some service on the rear end. Uh, I got... <laughs> messed up my wheel and I hit the wall that's why this tires flat look at that wonderful we'll see if we can save it <laughs> you know stuff's expensive you gotta save what you can uh, so gonna be doing some service work on the back here normally my car does not sit and I'll show you here real quick does not sit all jacked up like that on a regular basis like it's it's up and it's not coming back down. Uh, so going to take a real good look uh, back here as well and try to figure out why my car's not setting down. Granted, I got flat tires on the right side and it's kind of rolled over, but even when uh, uh, the tires had air in them, um, the car still looked like it was all jacked up. So really something back here, I feel like is binding. I, that's not normally the case for the car to just sit, you know, all, all, all jacked up on the left rear for me. Um, it usually, especially after a while, it, it usually tends to settle back down. Um, so lots of stuff to do back here and check out. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a uh, long couple weeks. Uh, I have... I have lots of uh, work obligations and stuff, so it's going to be a little bit here and there, a little bit here and there, but uh, today my hopes are to get this thing up on jack stands, get some parts ripped off of it, see what I need to order, see what I need to replace. Um, I think we're going to have to figure out something with our, yeah, if you look right down there, right there, um, this is the radiator screen that I home built and uh, I think it got tore up uh, when my when my steering got bent um, and so now it's rubbing and in the way so yeah just gonna start tearing stuff apart and see how far we get I had to uh, install a, uh, a new brake controller in my truck but uh, I don't know if you guys can see it or not very well, but it is snowing <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> it's a it's a light snow, uh, but it's it was actually lighter earlier, so it's getting heavier and heavier. And it's you know May, <laughs> whatever. Oh jeez, <sighs> Nevada weather, gotta love it. All right, back to work. <laughs>
All right, so <laughs> first glance here. Look at that wonderful mess of plastic underneath there. Ooh. Ay, ay, ay. All right, well, we got our work cut out for us uh, to get this stuff straightened out and usable again. Um, looks like it's coming out apart pretty good down here. Yeah, we'll have to. I don't know what we're going to end up doing here. Um, I'm going to see if I can <clears throat> straighten all this stuff out without taking the bumper off, maybe. Um, <clears throat> we have a decent chance at it, I think. If not, maybe I'll only have to take this side off, uh, slide it out, feet to fit, paint to match, slide it back in. Um, yeah, that'll work. Hey, I'm happy that my overkill aluminum angle that's going across here is still in really good shape. <laughs> uh, man, okay. Uh, and then at first glance, yeah, look at this. Look at that little bottom of that's not doing great. Maybe that wasn't a great design to have it go all the way down there near the steering. I don't know. We will, we'll see. That's not tight. All right. Yeah, definitely got lots to look at um, up front here, but let's keep ripping and tearing.
All right, honestly, uh, wasn't sure if that was going to uh, work for what I needed. Um, but you can see, um, I took some boards, I strapped them on here, I cranked it down to where it's flat. Uh, I used a heat gun, heated up the plastic. Um, you know, really that's how all this stuff got its shape, right? Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure that this was a vacuum formed uh, thermoformed, vacuum formed, vacuum thermoformed, <laughs> uh, part. So, um, in my head, I was like, oh, well, I, I should be able to just heat this thing up and kind of bend it. And, um, in doing that, taking, um, taking and relaxing some of the stresses, um, where it was all really crumbled up really, really bad. Um, you know by putting the plastic back into a it's plasticized state um, relieving some of those stretches trying to get some shape back into it um, this is way better than it was it is by no means perfect but um, I will be able to patch that back together and I'm gonna do the same thing over here you can see it's kind of crushed in on itself right here and sucked in so what i'll do is i'll do the same thing i'll get that this is just one by i think this was actually like a piece of one by like 12 or something that got all broke up or whatever um but you know i'll shove it in there um get it set down into this little crease down here right get it down in there get it shoved in um get this thing flat it's hard to do with one hand um, but get this thing flat and then I'll probably uh, put some heat on the underneath here um, probably up here because there's some stresses here now and uh, maybe right there on the inside in there uh, we'll see but uh, honestly did not expect that to work as well as it did but it did you know uh, <laughs> This nose has seen better days. You can tell it just, it was grinding itself on the ground there. Uh, but we will continue to use what we got for now. Um, and I'll patch this nose back together. I don't know if I'm gonna end up being able to patch the hole here. I'll have to think about that. So I might, you know, when this thing goes back together, um, there might still be a hole right there, but of all things considered, it could be way worse. Um, <laughs> yeah, is what it is. So uh, I'll, I'll keep moving forward here. Um, I'm, I just want to see if I can get. I'll. I just want to see if I can get this straightened out a little bit, um, and then I'll probably move on to. Uh, before I actually start doing final assembly and things like that, I might come up with some magic, some magical idea or something um, to finish patching the rest of the nose together. So I'll leave it apart for now, um, and then I'll move on to taking out our damaged piece up there. Uh, and the, I got to get the radiator out and get it measured so I know what size radiator I got to get ordered. I have a radiator sitting right here uh, that I. I borrowed for just in case, just in case I can't get one in time. Um, but yeah, I think it's uh, gotta start ripping and tearing on other stuff. But um, I was really curious about this plastic job. Uh, <laughs> that seems to be working, so uh, don't be afraid to do it, I guess. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do this other corner and then move on to other stuff.
Well, guys, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, mm. Found some stuff. Uh, found some more cracks. There's another one up here. Um, and then looking down here at this, this is kind of bulged out, and I think this is bent downwards. So I think this horn, I think this horn is twisted and bent down. So twisted just a little bit this way and then bent down that way. I'm not 100% sure yet. Um, yeah, dang it. Uh, I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna have to get some measurements um, and double check those um, to make sure that this is okay. Uh, problem with that, um, if you bend, you know, your horn any way, shape, or form while your, so the idle arm here um, attaches to the drag link, right? And just think about it, if this is bent that way, it pulls this up and actually pushes that back, which as you can see, it's pretty close to chassis back there, uh, the tie rod. So um, this being bent will, will do all that and make all of that nice and cattywampus. <sighs> Boy, uh, that's that's not good. Um, I, I did a little bit. I mean, it's it's not like huge in your face. Oh my God, kind of damage, but it is. It's um, not little damage, right? Like it's the that type of little stuff that creates lots of work <laughs> so um, not sure what I'm gonna do I gotta double check triple check these measurements and stuff but um, there's some um, more cracks like on the back side of the suspension mount here and this is like dented in um, oh boy uh, yeah, I'm glad I started digging into it now, I guess. Um, gives me some time to uh, figure out what I'm going to do um, as far as getting things fixed, getting things realigned, and all of that happy stuff. Um, of course, I can't condemn it as bad until I get some measurements um, and, and double check those measurements to make sure that front horn is okay or not. Yeah, okay, Joy's, <laughs> Joy's a race in here, um, is what it is, uh, we'll, we'll do what we can to get the car put back together and, uh, and go race, so, um, I think that's gonna be it for this video, it is Mother's Day, like I mentioned earlier, again, happy Mother's Day to all you mothers out there, um, and, uh, I'm gonna go, go do, uh, Mother Day, Mother's Day things now, so, um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Any questions, comments, concerns down below. Lumsden Motorsports Facebook page. Um, wish me luck. I'm really going to need it. Uh, uh, I do only have a couple. It is only a couple weeks. So um, with, with major fixes like that, that takes time. So if I'm going to have to get all crazy with it, we'll see what happens here so um thanks for watching guys and uh see you next video